singing songs together before, so uh, we, we may get on the same song at the same time, we may not, so I appreciate these guys coming. Uh, Y'all, you know these guys, I'm sure. Terry McKinney playing here all the time. He's, he's a professional, and this is his sidekick, <laughs> Billy Joe England. Uh, tonight, though, know, he's gonna play Flute Collins, the drummer for Johnny Cash. This is Marshall Grant, the bass for Johnny Cash. Now, somewhere about two thirds way through here, 1980, you get fired. Oh, so, okay. Uh, <laughs> Flute played with him the rest of his career, but uh, Marshall Grant got fired. <laughs> he uh, stayed on Johnny Cash about his drugs too long, and Johnny Cash didn't like to be hassled, and he wanted his drugs, and so he fired Marshall Grant. That was a way to solve the drug problem in 1980. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, I guess so. At one way stop at this bar. Yep, it's up. That's about seven o'clock, going to go too long, not past 10, 30, 11. <laughs> so we'll, we'll get started. I don't know where Bill Carson here. You ever come in? No, you no. see. Well, we're going to... Uh, uh, I'm not a Johnny Cash imitator by any means. I don't have a voice like Johnny. I got a deep voice, but not a Johnny Cash voice. So I'm not a, I don't consider myself a Johnny Cash imitator. Uh, only black I got is just a black uh, shirt like this. I don't have a whole black outfit. Uh, but we're just uh, gonna try to tell you a little something about Johnny Cash's life, uh, where he came from, uh, the process he went through in living out his life and uh, do some of his songs. We'll, we'll try, if we can get them in, we'll, we'll get in 15 or 20 of his songs or so. I uh, thought about you know, how to summarize uh, this, and uh, I'll, I'll start by saying, Johnny Cash, a full but conflicted life. And I think that's very public, and everybody knows that. He had a very conflicted life, but a very full life. Uh, he's a man that, uh, in some respects, I admire, in some respects, I don't. I admired his talent. I admired his ability to come back and recover when he would fall down in the pit. Uh, but obviously you can't um, admire all of his conduct through his life. Uh, he was uh, a man that was flawed. Uh, reminds me of the human race. And myself and many others, I guess. But you look at his record, over 1,500 songs recorded uh, over a 48 year career. That's a lot of songs for one artist to record. 50 million sales in albums and records. Uh, in 1969 and 70, he was out selling the Beatles. Uh, those were his peak years in the late 60s and early 70s. 38 consecutive years with at least one song in the country music charts. Uh, I don't know whether many artists have ever accomplished that or not. Youngest inductee in the Country Music Hall of Fame. He was inducted in 1980 at age 48. 11 Grammy Awards plus a Lifetime Achievement Award for the Grammys. Uh, two and a half years of primetime TV. How many of y'all watched the Johnny Cash TV show back when? Uh, they, there's good TV set out on that and I, I enjoy watching that because they cut out all the commercials and you just see music and he had some great, great artists with him back in their younger days, including Chris Christopherson, and Neil Diamond and a number of others. Played for presidents, uh, had global recognition, uh, two significant career declines and two significant recoveries. Uh, he's a man who constantly fought with himself. Um, in the end, September 12, 2003, he passed away, 71 years of age. Uh, he looked like he was 90 or 100. He, he really wore himself out. Uh, I, I feel fortunate to sit there. I'm 80, and I've, I've outlived Johnny Cash nine years so far. But uh, uh, he, he wore himself out. But if you look at the end of his life, uh, from all I could gather, just listening to his last live interview, reading all the material, reading his biography, uh, he had really, at that point, uh, felt forgiven by God for his failures, and he had forgiven himself. And I think he went into eternity with quite a bit of peace. So uh, I think in the long run, you have to say the man uh, was a success in spite of, in spite of his flawed uh, life in many respects. 
So we'll uh, do some of this music and go back and review some of this history. Um, we're going to start out, this is the first, this was a B-side of the first record he, he cut. He did Porter, uh, uh, with Porter, oh, Hey Porter, Hey Porter, right. About a train coming south and a man wanting to get to the south and let me know when we get to the south land. And that was the A-side. So it was the B-side, Cry, 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 that went to number 14 on the country chart. So that was really his first country hit. And that's in QB. Yeah. You need to know that, don't you, drummer? Everybody knows where you go when the sun goes down. You're on the middle of the sea, the lights are down. I wasted my time and I would try, try, try. Some of you probably know a lot of the information I'll pass on to you. Born 